What do you do for a living, Fernando? Uh, right now, I'm in between jobs, doing different projects, but hopefully in a couple months, I'll be more stable in an office setting. Lori Young, what do you do for a living? I am a teacher's coach, so I go in classrooms and I watch teachers and I try to help them get better at what they do. What about you? What are you, what are you passionate about? Well, I'm a tattoo artist. I love art. Anything that has to do with art, I love it. I even do murals. I'm passionate about a few things. More than anything, just education. I recently graduated college, but uh, I feel like it's still I want to keep learning and I want to go beyond that. I have three small children, so I feel like that's my only passion because I don't have time for anything else. I'm really big on travel. I feel like the world is a book and like if you stay in one place, you're only reading one page. What are some places that you've traveled before? So I went to Germany, Switzerland, a lot of places in Europe, Spain, France, I hit Egypt. What kind of pets do you have? I have iguanas, dogs, cats. I have a big pond, so you could just imagine there's Turtles, koi fish, salamanders, all kind of fishes, chickens, rabbits. I could go on forever. <laughs> we also have a pond in our backyard. And so for one of my son's birthdays, we had turtle races at our house, which was pretty funny. People were cheering and it was pretty adventurous. Are you in a relationship or are you single? I'm currently single. How about you? I'm single. That's life. That is life. Um, what about yourself? Are you in a relationship? I am married. We are getting ready to celebrate seven years together, but we have been together for 17 years. Long time. Judging by your voice, uh, I think you're probably an older gentleman. Late 20s, early 30s, maybe. I think you might be of African American. You were dressed really formal. I think you were wearing slacks and uh, dressing shoes. I don't think you're wearing a tie, though. I feel like maybe you drive a Prius. I think, <laughs> I think Mario is probably about 33 years old, has a lot of tattoos, and he's Hispanic. He has short, dark hair, maybe a mustache, and that he is wearing a red T-shirt. I think Fernando is maybe 24, 25. Uh, I feel like he's of Southern American descent. I want to say Mexican. Right now, he's wearing jeans, Vans, a polo shirt, and he has glasses on right now. I think Lori is about 31 years old. For some reason, I picture her being a, a black. Lori has probably a silky dress with flowers, and maybe she's wearing like a jean type of jacket with um, wavy hair, like really puffy for some reason. And, uh, and a headband. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Doing good. All right. Meet Fernando. Manuel, nice Southern to American? From Mexico. Oh, I'm from Mexico. <laughs> I'm trying to be racist. <laughs> Wait, what, you got Vans on? Uh, yes. Oh, um, jeans. Jeans. It's a button. It's not a pole. It's right. not. It was close, though. And you do have glasses. I have glasses. I'm pretty good at this. Well, you were right with the age. I'm 24. You are? I'm okay. 24. All right. How old are you? I'm 24. 24? Yeah. For some reason, I thought you were going to be wearing slacks. Nah. And... I am African American, though. Got you were that right, right about that. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm white. <laughs> Sorry about that. You must be psychic because you got almost everything done. I was cracking up when you were describing me as a black woman with puffy hair. It was just super funny. I know what I look like, and so for you to say that you thought I was a black woman mm -hmm. was surprising to me. How did you know I was African American? You know your voice. It was just so deep. It's like it just gave me this bias. Like I think he's African American. All right. What about Hispanics? Do you feel like there's an assumption that that you wish would change? Maybe that. We're um, criminals and we're not, we're really hard workers. That's what we're known for. Even even the lazy Mexicans are still hard workers. I think assumptions are a good thing. I think it's biologically in us to kind of do it. We meet so many people in our yeah. daily lives and we have to like quickly swift through like, who are we gonna be cool with? Who are we gonna work with? Mm -hmm. Who don't we like? I think we're all trying to make sense of the world. And then when we put certain people in categories. I just think that it makes it easier for everybody. I feel like we should just be more honest with ourselves. It's true. Yeah. Hey, so the turtle thing, that sounds pretty interesting. You gotta invite me to the next one. It was really, really funny. But yeah, people from all over.
Soulbank Gang.